Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing Get Ready With Me. I'm going to be doing my makeup, this peachy look that you guys love so much. So I'm going to start off with my face, base, foundation, all that good stuff. I'm going to prime my face with the Pore Minimizing Primer by Smashbox. This one's actually really good. I love it. It actually like really does smooth out your face and keep your oil shine free. And I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as a foundation. And I'm going to use the color dark and apply that to the areas that need the most coverage which is mostly like my forehead and my jawline area where I have more dark spots and I'm blending that upwards into the center of my face so here's me thinking about how I want to change my background and I did I moved to a different section of the room it looks better don't you agree I think so so um, I am using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I use this in the center of my face because it is a little bit more olivey golden, which is better for the center of my face. I feel like the color matches that part of my face better, in my opinion. That's just me. And I'm blending it out with a buffing brush. I do have the brush that actually is meant to be used with this foundation, but any flat buffing brush will work. So after applying that all over my face, I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. And I am running that underneath my eyes to brighten my under eye area. I'm also going to put it on my nose and on my forehead. Now this look is all about looking peachy and springy for the springtime. I've been wearing this look non-stop i love the peachy springtime look so i want to make sure that our face is like bright in the center you know we lit or whatever we look wide awake fresh dewy springy you know the setting powder i'm going to use today is the nyx ha ah, just kidding not nyx the la girl pro powder this is the yellow tone even though it doesn't look that yellow it's yellow trust me and i'm going to use that underneath my eyes honestly this one works just as good as any other setting powder i've used um, even the more expensive ones so yeah uh, we're gonna go in with a um, contour color so this is my cover effects cover click in the color in 100 and I'm using that with this brush that I got from the Mac next to nothing collection um, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be used for contour but that's what I'm using it for because it's shaped like a contour brush is it not so I'm going to run that around the perimeter of my face like my forehead or whatever and I'm going to apply my Too Faced dark chocolate soleil bronzer on top of that just to set it and bring it out a little bit more and blend it out buff it out make it look nice and diffused i'm going over my nose area with that as well with a smaller brush just to contour my nose i'm pressing in all of that with a setting powder and i'm using the studio fix powder by mac just to set my entire face give me a nice matte finish going into these brow y'all brow power so we're going in with the color pop brow pencil in black and brown this has been my favorite go-to brow pencil lately because i can use as much as i want and not feel guilty about buying another one because it's only five dollars um but the pencil is actually really really good like super pigmented you know what i'm saying like it's just it's perfect um if you haven't tried these pencils yet you're missing out so i'm just filling in my brows light strokes upwards to make hair like strokes after i finish filling them in i'm gonna go in with my concealer uh, the cover effects contour kit and I'm going to use the lightest shade in that kit to underline my eyebrows next I'm going in with this Mac brow gel what is this called brow set something like that it sets your brows <laughs> it makes sure the hairs don't move throughout the day now I'm going to use the Huda Beauty palette this is the rose gold palette I love this palette I've been using it like non-stop lately I'm going to take the light brown color which is basically my transition shade I use this pretty much in every look that I ever wear since I've been using this palette. I'm going to buff that into my crease and I'm also going to make this ugly face and put it on the lower lash line to give a little bit of like a shading, not really even a color, just a shading. Now I'm gonna go in with this pink color and I'm going to buff that into the crease area just to give me a little bit more dimension. Just add some color, give me a nice pink rosy effect on the eyes, you know? And then after I do that, I'm going to buff it out with a light buffing brush. I don't even know what color this is. It's called Angelic, I think. I think it's called Angelic. Uh, I'll put all of the colors in the description box, guys. Don't worry. But this is a nice rosy gold color. It's not rose gold. It's actually like a duochrome kind of shadow. It's really, really pretty. Now I'm buffing that pink underneath the eyes as well just to bring the look together. And you're done with the eyes. Super, super simple. So now we're going in with our favorite Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. 
and this blush is a very very rosy rose goldish blush this is a mascara that i don't know the name of because it's small they just gave it to me for free a points perk at sephora so yeah um this is the your lash bar <laughs> shout out to taylor your lash bar lashes they're gonna be restocking soon guys don't worry they sell out all the time because they're super bombastic these are the manhattan lashes and they are like my faves because they're super super simple good for every day but they also give you a nice fluttery look so now i'm going in with the um mascara i don't remember what mascara oh the big shot mascara on my lower lashes now i'm taking the smashbox palette this is the Casey Holmes collaboration with Smashbox and this is her highlighter palette so I'm using the pearl one but I'm also going to go over the pearl one with the gold one as well just to give like a nice dimensional two-dimensional type highlight because both of them together is like magical so I just apply both I mean, because you never have too much highlight right like who who has too much highlight raise your hand you're lying I mean it's a personal preference but you know I like to be glowing so I'm going over that with my wet beauty blender just to make sure it sinks into my skin and it doesn't look super super glittery but it's like nice and smooth and beautiful um, this is the ColourPop lip pencil in faded and then I'm gonna go over that with the Smashbox lip pigment in the color bad B okay <laughs> okay shout out and this is a creamy lip liquid lip color but it lasts a long time like it doesn't like disappear from your lips like gloss does this is color pops matte lippy stick in the color she bad so bad b and then she bad on top to give it a nice like two-dimensional look i keep seeing dimension i don't know why what's going on with me today anyways after you spray your face with setting spray that is all i hope that you guys enjoyed this look you guys have been asking me about it so i decided to do it for you everything you need will be in the description box be sure to check out my previous videos and subscribe if you have not to this channel and to my vlog channel if you like vlogs. I'll see you guys in my next one, okay? Peace out.